Hi everyone, it's Miss Amy, and today's summer reading program craft uh, will be uh, Antarctic penguins. We're gonna make uh, rock painted rock penguins. Um, so you need a couple different size rocks. Uh, you can find ones that are maybe penguin shaped, long and skinny, or you can do fat ones. And then uh, you need to have your iceberg. Um, so uh, summer reading program we did uh, Antarctica this week as we travel through the continents. We made ice cream, freezer bag ice cream today. But uh, so ooh, this has not been opened. So I uh, you need black paint and white paint or like cream color uh, paint. So uh, this is just a regular little acrylic paint. Um, this is not coming off even with my fingernails. Okay, so, uh, and you need some water. Um, make sure that your rocks are clean. Uh, it's important that they have been cleaned off uh, ahead of time or the paint is not going to stick uh, and you want to make sure that your paint is going to stick um, so what oof, uh, um, what I'm going to do is um, I am going to first paint my um, paint my black on my um, on my rock uh, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of black on here I'm gonna put, put the three colors that I'm gonna need um, so I need some black okay. I'm gonna use the big paintbrush for this the bigger one so I can cover more more ground quickly okay so there's black um, the purple and green are not part of it they just happen to be um, on there uh, shake up my creamy colored white because I don't actually have uh, regular white but that's okay and then orange for um, peaks okay so now what I'm going to do is I am going to paint the outside of this a little guy I'm going to paint the back, I'm going to hold on to it, okay, painting the back, the bottom, yeah, I'm going to get a little gooey, that's alright, um, and I'm going to go a little bit further because what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint white on the inside. Gonna leave that. I'm gonna go like that. Okay, and I'm going to bring this around and I'm going to do I'm gonna do this so it kind of so you can see that I did that, okay, with my um with my brush. Okay. So now I'm just going to lay this down on here and I'm going to finish a little bit of black on the bottom. Okay. Then I'm going to just let it dry a little bit and I'm going to do the other one. Okay. And then I'll be able to go back and um, put that. I'm not going to use that one. Um, and then I'll go, uh, actually, I like that one better. Um, so this one I am going to paint again. I probably did not need that much paint. I thought I would need more. So I'm going to paint the bottom here. This is the back that I'm painting of this, uh, so that I can then paint the white on the front. So you have to decide which part you think is going to be your back or your front and I'm going to get a little bit more paint and I'm going to kind of wrap the brush around like that and get that all like that there we go okay nice I'm going to pick that up okay and uh, this is where I'm going to do 
with that little, I'm gonna bring it around the side. I'm gonna make the little spots for the eyes. starting to dry okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna get that a little bit of that off my fingers I'm gonna let that um, I'm gonna let that just soak and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna take this other brush okay and I'm gonna do the white on the rock uh, so I'm going to go ahead and paint the white because this is um, going to be my iceberg, okay? okay? This one is not as, I'm going to just do this quick. I'm just going to do the top on this one because I don't need to do the bottom. I can go back and do the bottom after if, if I decide that I want to, and I might. Um, it depends, but I want to get the basic gist so that you can all see. I'm trying to cover the holes up, the little crevices of the rock so that you can't see the rock. There we go. And so I'm getting that. You can see, all right, so I'm gonna go like that. This dry while I hopefully paint the front of the first one that I did. I'm gonna blow on the other one a little bit. Okay, like that. And and I am um, getting this one so that I can glue, hot glue, my penguins right on top of my rock. And I'm trying to get it so that you can't see the rock at the bottom. Okay, so there's a few more spots that I want to just get a little bit more on. Right there that you can see. And here we go. There, there we go. Okay, so now, all right, I'm gonna just push that one off to the side, let that dry, get the paint off the table. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna make sure that's dry. Okay, I'm gonna pick up my, my first penguin and I'm gonna use, um, I'm gonna use this marker this paint and I'm gonna go right to the edge of where my black was just like that okay and I'm gonna go all the way across and I go here I want good coverage but I don't want it too thick might be easier with a smaller brush, but this is what I have. So, here we go. That, there it gets it by. And a little bit here. And if you don't, if you do have hot glue, you're gonna want hot glue. Um, because it will get your penguin on there very quickly. Okay. 
Okay. All right. So I'm going to do just a tad more on there. Okay. So there's my penguin. So I'm going to put that one right back there. I'm going to pick up this one now. Okay. And this one, I'm going to do the same thing. Okay. I'm going to go right to the edge right to the edge here, and we're gonna finish this up really quick. I go around like that. Okay. And then I'm gonna get up here. I'm gonna take a little bit of that off. Okay, go right to the edge. Perfect. Okay, so I'm just gonna do those two. Okay, there is my penguin body. So I'm gonna put that one, I'm gonna put that one right like that. Oof, let it go. Okay, uh, and then I'm really gonna quickly, I'm gonna take the back side, I'm gonna do orange, just a little bit of orange, and I'm gonna show you right on the first one. I'm gonna do a little triangle. That little triangle beak. Okay, and some little feet. And little feet, like that. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Okay, 
So let's try this again. I'm gonna put him right there like that. you have a wonderful time. Thanks for joining me for summer reading program. Hugs to you all. Miss Amy.